back with another video and in today's video i am going to be giving you all an update on my pregnancy plans <laughs> as far as labor and delivery we have a major change of plans as you can already tell by the title um some of you probably thought this was clickbait but it's really not obviously my scenery is different as well i'm in the kitchen it's kind of a weird place to record but well, not weird, but it's different for me. Um, this is my wood, so I was just like, whatever. So, but anyways, before we go ahead and get into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. My stomach itches. My skin is stretching. But anyways, okay, so first, let me give you guys an update on everything. So... I am now 36 weeks. Um, if you are a true OG Leah subscriber and you've been subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my videos, then you will know that my original due date is March 14th of 2021, obviously. Um, but that has changed, uh, kinda. <laughs> So anyways, um, I had a doctor's appointment on, when was that, February 11th, um, and now I go to the doctor every week, so my next appointment is in three days, so I go February 18th, today is February 15th, um, anyways, when I was at my doctor's appointment, I was just a regular checkup, um, and I was talking to my doctor um, about labor and delivery and I wanted to know that she was going to for sure be there to deliver my baby because I don't feel comfortable with any other doctor delivering my daughter just because that's been my doctor for the past nine months. She's been all up in my business and I don't want anybody else, you know, anybody that I don't know delivering my baby or just in that area. I wouldn't be comfortable so I wanted to make sure that my doctor was going to be there to deliver my baby no matter what time of the night it was or day you know no matter what was going on i wanted to make sure that she's going to be there so you guys um i am getting induced on march 8th um and it's totally fine i'll basically be 40 weeks pregnant well i'll be 39 weeks and some change on march 8th so um obviously my doctor wouldn't even have recommended it it was actually her idea she wouldn't have even have recommended it if it wasn't safe um and she could have just been one of those doctors that was just like you know it is what it is if i'm not going to be there i'm not going to be there she didn't even have to recommend it but it was really nice of her to um i love my doctor she's super nice she's super welcoming and she cares so yeah it was her idea to just go ahead and plan it she was like you know we can just plan to induce you if there's something that you want to do to make sure that i'm there you know i see that this is something that is really important to you to make sure that i'm there to deliver you because she was like yeah you know i'm on call on tuesdays but say you were to have her on a thursday night or something like that and i'm not on call um it wouldn't be a house doctor that would deliver her but it would be a doctor out of a different doctor out of my office because she's not the only doctor in her office there's like three other doctors two or three other doctors um and the name that she said i don't remember the name but i'm pretty sure it was a man it sounded like a man's name and i'm not comfortable with the man delivering my baby let alone being down there and i've never met him you know so i wanted to make sure that my doctor was going to be there and i want to be as comfortable as possible through the whole process um, so I'm grateful that she did recommend, um, you know, where suggest getting induced and it's totally safe. Um, I'm excited. So I was due March 14th. Um, yeah, and I get to meet my baby girl six days earlier. So, um, as of, well, from today, that's three weeks from now. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, I'm a little nervous. I've been nervous though, 
but I was actually super, super nervous in the beginning of when I first got pregnant for labor and delivery, which is totally normal for women to be nervous of labor, especially if it's your first baby. But I've just trying, I've been trying to prepare myself physically and mentally, mainly mentally, because I know it's more of a mental thing. Um, so yeah, I am going to get an epidural um, just because I'm really small and I've heard child or ch labor is a totally different type of pain and I personally I do have a high pain tolerance but for something like that <laughs> I don't know but um it's my decision my choice so if you are against it or if you're for it that's totally your preference um don't knock me because I am getting an epidural I really don't care anyways, but it's my decision. It's something that I'm totally fine with. I've read up on it. Um, I've done my research on epidural. So, uh, yeah, my my body, my baby, my decision. That's how I feel. Um, but other than that, as of yesterday, I am 36 weeks. My baby girl's doing great. I'm doing good, thanks to the most high. Um, we have gotten everything set up. The only thing we don't have up yet is her crib, but everything else is set up, her bassinet and everything. As I said in my last video, my hospital video, all of her clothes, burp cloths, bibs, washcloths, blankets, towels, everything has been washed from A to Z. Um, the last thing that we have to do is put up her crib and we're actually doing that tonight. So I'm excited about that. I know I said I was going to give you guys a um, room tour. Obviously it won't be a nursery tour um, yet because we haven't moved and that's okay. But when we do move, she will have her own nursery and I will give you guys a tour of that. Um, I'm still like, she still has her own theme even though she's going to be in PJ and I's room. Um, it's really pretty. Um, I don't want to tell you guys. I just want to show you. So whenever we get her crib book, that's the last thing that we have to do. Um, I will give you guys a tour and show you like where all her clothes are and how I organized everything and the products that I'm going to be using and stuff like that. I just give you guys a little tour of the room and the setup. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it i've covered everything so yeah i'm getting induced on march 8th um it's super close february there's only 28 days in february so february is like flying by it's already the 15th um i'm just i'm ready to meet her um uh, it's like the closer it gets the more exciting it gets i'm like a anxious nervous but more of a I don't know. I would say more of an anxious, excited, actually. But I am still kind of nervous just because it's my first baby. But I know that everything's going to be okay because God's going to be by both of our sides through the whole process. And um, they actually just changed the rules, my doctor told me. So I'm allowed to have two people present during labor and delivery. Um, so I'll have my mom and PJ there. Uh, obviously... Um, I would have been fine with PJ, you know, just being there if I was to only able to have uh, one person, obviously I wouldn't have a choice, but it made me feel a lot better in just knowing that my mom can be there too. So yeah, I can't have any visitors, obviously with COVID, nobody can who's having a baby right now or about to have the baby can't have visitors um, other than the one or two people that they allow you to have during the process um i won't be allowing her or i won't allow anyone around her after she is born just because i don't want to risk anything with covid so she will be at home with her parents and her grandma gamma my mom must be called Gamma, so Gamma. Um, she will only be around the people she resides with. I don't want to risk putting, you know, 
I don't want to put her health at risk or mine. Um, it's too much going on and with all these different new strains of COVID and they're saying that they're more transmissible so just don't have time. Don't know what that means, obviously. It just it just means more contagious. Just don't have time. Um, and babies when they're born, you know, they have to build their immune system. They don't have a strong immune system like we do. So, um but yeah you guys. I don't think I'm leaving, thing, leaving anything out. I'm trying to think before I end the video. Um, March 8th, I'm getting induced. Oh, I'm going to go into the hospital at 4 p.m. So I'm going to go in at 4 p.m. Um, she said they're going to insert a pill inside of my vagina that's going to start contractions. And then she said something like 12 hours later, they're going to give me Pitocin, which is going to break my water and actually start the process. Um, and then she said the March 9th, we should have a baby. So um, I'm gonna vlog everything. Um, and obviously if I'm in too much pain during contractions, I'm gonna have my mom record or PJ or both, excuse me, or both of them. Um, but everything will be recorded as far as labor and delivery. I'm gonna record everything. Um, obviously I'm not going to show, you know, but, um, the camera will be on me as I'm pushing. Uh, and if they tell me that I can't record, I'm going to hide the camera and record anyways. So, because who doesn't want to record a moment like that? It's, you know, a beautiful moment. But, um, okay guys, I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, your girl's excited. True is on the way. Um, and yeah. <laughs> uh, she's kicking. But anyways, guys, that is the end of this video. I just wanted to update, update you guys on everything. Update, update you guys on everything really fast. Um, because time is flying. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell. And also comment down below any more video ideas. I am going to do um, the tour of the room before I go to the hospital. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm also going to um, probably do a, a beauty video, like a hair tutorial or something like that. Or maybe even a makeup tutorial. I don't know. But those will probably be my last two videos before I go to the hospital. But yeah, you guys, my allergies are acting up really bad. That's why my eyes are kind of red and puffy. But okay, I love you guys. I will catch y'all in the next video. And we are out.